What's going on YouTube? Yep, I'm back with another unboxing video. Uh, today we're going to do two CGC boxes and I think the other one's from Frankie's Comics. It was one of, uh, I want to say it's one of his Peach Pomoko uh, variant covers for one of the books I've ordered. Everything's kind of hit or miss with that. Um, Frankie's is really cool to deal with. But he pre-sells his books way before they come out. So there is quite a bit of a wait. Um, me personally, I don't mind it at all. Um, I've dealt with them uh, quite a few orders now. Uh, the packing is always nice. Um, if you ever have any questions, you can email them and stuff. And like, dude's stand-up guy. Um, I haven't had any damage yet. So we'll pray that this is a... Uh, we'll keep that going basic uh gemini mailer and let's see still haven't got all my books back from cgc yet um i think we're gonna open up five books today two different boxes because i did go with uh um oh what's it called like the the cool little labels. I went with the special labels for three of the books. So they split my order in half. And the two that didn't have the special labels. Obviously I had to pay a different shipping for them. Puts it in a little white bag. And it is taped. Here we get the light stuff out of the way. Um, it's a good chance that two of my books are going to come back with bad grades um i spoke with a couple people about this i had problems pressing um if i pressed anything from the 70s and 80s i was fine if i pressed anything modern what was happening is i was leaving them in the the wash a little too long oh yeah peach momoko venom 27 uh this was the trade dress I actually wasn't online when they went live, so I missed out on the the Virgin set. But, eh, I mean, still. I was happy to pick it up. Uh, condition on it. It looks amazing. I mean, the corners are sharp as hell. No spine ticks or bends or creases or anything. Um, Frankie's doesn't guarantee any grade because, obviously... Uh, I mean, he try. I think they really try to get the best they possibly can. If everything comes back damaged, it postpones a lot of stuff, and they send them back for replacements because obviously they're ordering just like any other store variant. Um, but I have me personally, them and Comic Mint, I haven't had any problems with uh, getting damaged books from them. But getting back to my CGC story, um, I was having some problems with. I didn't realize I was leaving my new modern books in the wash too long. And I was running into a warping issue. Um, what would happen is they would come out, they would be flat, they'd look great. And I'd bag and board them. And I went to go send off my order to CGC. Luckily, I went back through one last time just to see if I needed to repress anything. And almost all my modern books had warping to them. Um, I've repressed a good portion of them. Um, some of them I decided not to send at all. Um, but I did repress some of them. It looked like it got the warping out. I went ahead and sent them off. And needless to say, I don't know how the big boxes, what it was, I sent five in. I sent... Five books in that were of higher value. And then I sent two boxes of 15 in. So, all together, 35 books. Uh, the two boxes of 15 haven't been processed. They've been processed, but they haven't been through the grading process yet. They're still in the received um, section on my submissions. These ones went through fast. Um, like I said, they're a little bit higher 
valued books. The other ones were, eh, I mean, most of them were modern books. So, um, they, I don't know. I just did the, the cheapest grading tier on those. So they're going to take a little bit longer. Uh, whenever I get them in, then I'll do an unboxing video. We'll see what we get. Uh, if there's anything that I just can't live with, <clears throat> like I suspect these ones will probably be. I could get lucky, but I, I highly doubt it. Um, I'll probably end up cracking them, sending them to a professional uh, cleaning presser, have them pressed again. I should have waited. I should have probably sat on them for a good week and a half, two weeks, just to see if uh, the warping was going to come back. But I was overzealous, kind of, and just wanted to get them sent off. Mainly because of the box I'm about to show you guys. At least I think this is it. Uh, can't tell if there's two or three books in here. Yeah, I think this one has the three books. This was the whole reason why I wanted to get them submitted so fast. is because I wanted these books back. The other books, eh, not so much. I mean, when I get them back, I get them back. I'm not in any huge hurry. But, bubble wrap. And I guess now they're doing cardboard on both sides with a rubber band. I've seen some other people do their unboxings now. And it has this new format. I guess that wasn't always the case. Hopefully that negates some kind of damages. Um, let's see. Let's do it like this. And New Mutants 98. Try to get the glare off. Uh, this one was pressed and cleaned. Um, I think on this one, uh, let's see. Yes, that's I. Uh, I did go ahead and get the the Deadpool specialty label. And I think I was hoping for a 9.2 to a 9.6. Um, I want to say it had some very, very small spine ticks, but it wasn't breaking color. Uh, the corners were pretty sharp, but because of those couple of spine ticks, I didn't think it was going to get a 9.8. But, ah, uh, we got a 9.4. So, yeah, I could live with a 9.4. As long as it was above a 9.2, I was going to be happy with it. If it had been below a 9.2, I probably would have had it cracked and uh, resubmitted. But I could tell there was a little spine tick here that does kind of break the black just barely. It's not They're not deep spine ticks, but they wouldn't press out for whatever reason. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of the nature of the beast, I guess. And the next one. Oh, shit. I think I've seen that one. Uh, ASM 300. Like I said, I did go with the, the Venom label on this one. And this one, oh, 8.5. Uh, this one I actually anticipated was going to be 8.5 because I don't know what it is with this book. A good majority of them have this weird chipping down the side. This one does have the chipping and it had a nice size spine tick right here. So... Uh, I was kind of anticipating that it would come back 8 to 8.5. So, I'm very pleased with that one. It is uh, white pages. So, that's pretty cool. And the last one. Another ASM. This one was in quite a bit better shape. Uh, it had a very sharp edge. Uh, the corners are really sharp. I want to say that this one had a couple little baby spine ticks. And it had a little bit of a rolled corner on this one. Uh, it wasn't super bad. And it wasn't bad at all on the back. But on the front, it just had like a small little ding to it. Um, I think on this one, I was hoping for uh, 9 plus. Because like I said, it does have a couple little spine ticks. They're... It presents very well. You can't see them, but when you actually are looking at the raw book, ah, you can kind of tell. So I was hoping for a 9.0 to 9.4 and 9.2. Yeah. Like I said, definitely live with that because I knew it had its issues. It wasn't going to be a 9.8. It wasn't going to be a 9.8 just because of that corner right there. 
and it's it's still fairly sharp. It's just the black is kind of rubbed off on it. And I want to say that there was like two spine ticks. You can't really tell in the plastic. But I want to say there was one or two spine ticks right in here. They just wouldn't press out. I mean, they they are what they are. Alright. Now the moment of truth. Either they come back with a good grade or they come back with a botched grade. Yes, that, that is the moment of truth. The good thing is if they come back with a good grade, then that means that my other submissions should come back with a good grade, in theory. If they come back with a bad grade, then at least some some chance on this good majority of my books going to come back with bad grades for one of my other submissions. One of my submissions is a lot of modern uh, Venom books. Good majority of them were brand new, um, or I bought them brand new and they went straight into um, I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> they went into bag and boards and went straight into the box. So, I didn't press a good majority of them, but one of the other submissions had a mix of everything from older ASM books. When I say older, I mean 80s, 90s ASM books to um, eh, modern keys like First Appearance of Silk, stuff like that. And it had a lot of modern stuff. A lot of that stuff got cleaned and pressed. Just because I was hoping to get the best grade. Unfortunately, through the process of uh, the cleaning and pressing, like I said, I was leaving them in the bath for way too long. And it was causing warping. So, eh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, we'll see what happens with these. If these come back good, then I'll know my other ones come back good. If they don't come back good, then eh, it's hit or miss on what the next uh, batch is going to be about. If these ones come back too bad, then, like I said, they'll get cracked and resubmit it. Alright. This one... I think this was the one that I was anticipating was going to come back with the lesser of the grade. There's one that... Let's see if I can show it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to tell in here. But there's a little crease right here. I got it pressed out to the point where it was flat. But, unfortunately, you can still see like remnants of the lines. Uh... Just off the top, I really can't see any warping, but it's encapsulated, so it would be hard to tell anyways. But it looks extremely flat. Let's see what we get. <laughs> that is way lower than I anticipated. I'll have to look up the greater notes on them and see what they say about it. Because, uh, I definitely don't see anything wrong. But, when they looked at it, if it had any kind of weird... Yeah. Looking at it at this angle, I can see some waviness. So, yeah. It's, they probably dinged me for the warping. Shit. Well, that sucks. Well, this was the lesser of the two. So, hopefully the other one will come back a little bit better than a 9-0. Dang. I'll probably end up cracking that one or sending it off to be cracked and uh, regraded. And this one, I felt like this was the nicer of the two, which I could be wrong. Been known to be wrong before, and it does have some waviness. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell on the front of it. Eh, they might have hit me pretty hard, but this one had at least two mm, moderately sort of color breaking creases. But it definitely has some waviness to it. <sighs> New Spider-Man polybags removed. And we got... <laughs> no! We got 8.0. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I can definitely see the waviness. Like, if you're just looking straight on with it, you cannot tell. It looks beautiful. It's, it presents very well. 
like I said, this this particular one, it does have uh, one, two, eh, probably three spine ticks. I thought this one would actually come back better than that one, just for the simple fact that that one does have a little bit of line where a crease was on the back. That it got pressed out, but you can still see the remnants of it. But because of the waviness, I'm assuming I got dinged pretty hard on these grades. Like I said, these ones will probably get resubmitted. As uh, far as the ASM uh, 300s and the New Mutants 98, honestly, those hit right at where I thought they would. If not, maybe a hair bit better, especially for that New Mutants um, 9.4. Like, I was, I'm thrilled about that. Um, the 9.2, I would have preferred or liked the 9.4, but 9.2 I'm happy with. And 8.5 was dead on where I thought it would be. I actually thought it might come back at 8.0 just because of the chipping on the side. And I think it had like two or three spine dings. Um, but I definitely wanted to get it graded and uh, slabbed. Um, keep them in my personal collection anyway. So it, it really doesn't matter. Um, I picked them up earlier this year or late last year. And I mean, for the value that they hold now that they're slabbed as opposed to what they were raw, I or as opposed to what I paid, I guess it, it goes up quite a bit. So, I mean, it was definitely worth the, the slabbing. I mean, even these ultimate fallouts, uh, I don't know what, what an 8.0 grades at, like well, far as what the value is. Um, but I know I didn't pay maybe right at $100 for these because I bought them right before the bubble uh, or everything started to kind of blow up before the announcement. Um, I actually got lucky because I bought these probably maybe a month before uh, the book started to really take off. So hopefully that will be able to get pressed out and resubmitted and maybe we can come back with something better. Uh, if I do decide to do that, maybe I'll make a, a video before we'll submit them. Then I'll, I'll, I'll clip it in and we'll, uh, we'll show you guys what we end up getting back. Um, if I send them to Hero Restoration, I don't know if you've ever dealt with this company. They do marvelous work, and they are extremely backed up. Um, I sent them five of my probably pricier keys. At least two of them were my pri my highest price keys, and I think I sent them at the beginning of June. I don't know. Like they said that the the expected um rich, like rollover return time was 11 weeks and i was actually having them submit them to cgc for me so that's even a longer wait so uh i don't know i haven't got a bill from cgc yet telling me that they've received my books and they're working on them so i'm assuming that they haven't received them yet so i don't know well we'll see at the end of the day it kind of is what it is uh it's my own negligence uh, inexperience and got to learn the hard way sometimes. This was definitely one of those uh, tough lessons to learn. But thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you like the content today, even though half of it I liked, half of it I didn't. Uh, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Uh, if you've ever experienced any kind of warping or weird things when cleaning and pressing books drop a comment down below tell me what you did to fix it because i've tried just repressing that didn't work i've tried upping the heat that didn't work and i think on these ones i actually even tried to do like a short bath to maybe i was under the impression that maybe if i added just a hair bit more moisture that would give it something to to press out I don't know. I probably did more damage than what I did good. But at the end of the day, it kind of is what it is. They're my books. Um, I don't plan on selling any of them. So, yeah. If I got to live with the 8.0 that could have possibly been a 9 or a 9.4 or whatever the case. They weren't 9.8s at, at the end of the day anyways. And they're still worth what I got into them. Big deal. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys like this type of content... Like I said, we do got some more CGC uh, unboxing videos coming up as soon as my books come back to me. 
and we will be sending off some more books to to get graded so um uh, yeah see you guys next time peace